Okay, there goes the diamond back right there. <laughs> and there goes Orion right behind the Eiffel Tower. So my plan is to either ride Diamondback or Orion first. I think Orion. I love that ride. I want to go ride that first. I love Orion, the Constellation, so I love that. And I love that the roller coaster is blue. And then this is my favorite, one of my favorite styles of the B&M coasters. Um, so all together, it's just one of my favorite rides. So hopefully I can be on it in the next 20 minutes or so. And Kings Island does have a new chaperone policy. You can pause to read that. So that's the new chaperone policy. And here's the guest code of conduct. Pause to read that if you'd like. There's Invertigo. I believe that's what it's called, if I remember correctly from last year. So last year I was here during Halloween Haunt, and that's the only time I've been here, so I'm super excited. All right, so they are cashless. Um, like most amusement parks these days, they will not accept cash. I'm gonna scan my coat, my uh, pass, and I'll be right back. And we're in. Beautiful day. I put my sunscreen on. I put my sunscreen on, so as always, if you see a little white hue on my face, that's why, because I use the real non-nano zinc, so it makes me white sometimes. And we're here at Kings Island, beautiful fountain. Take a picture by the front of the King Island sign, it's for you to take a photo. Yeah, let's do it. Do it up. And she's gonna take a, she's gonna take a picture of me, so I'm gonna put the phone down and let her do it. All right, I just picked up my Fastlane Plus. I have the season pass for Fastlane Plus at every single Cedar Fair Park. So that was not cheap. It was uh, about a thousand bucks, but this is already the fourth time I've used it this year. And it's usually a hundred to 150 bucks per day just to get one of these. So by the time the year's over, I'll probably use it 50 times. So that would be what? 50 times a hundred, 5,000 bucks. So saving $4,000 by getting this. There goes Delirium, the Banshee in the background. We'll ride that later. Right now I'm gonna head right over to Orion. Got my gasoline band on. And there goes Banshee. We'll go ride that later. Tony Confections. Wouldn't be an amusement park without your sweet treats, huh? Sweet treats. The racer, that's the wooden coaster. We'll ride that later. Kind of like that shirt, actually. Got your sweet treats. Taffy and bulk candies. Sunnies and ooh, they got some magnets over there as well. I do see a couple of magnets I might want too. I bought this one last year, that Kings Island one, but I definitely want that one and that one. Those two Orion ones, uh, we'll come back for that uh, a little bit later, but I definitely want the two Orion magnets. Heck yeah, it's my, one of my favorite roller coasters. Got Orion there in the background. Getting closer to that. <laughs> Hopefully I'll be on that in about 10 minutes with my fast lane. Said it was a 20 minute wait. 20 minute wait is what I saw. So I'll be over there in a few minutes. Scrambler, of course. Skyline Chili. Must be a popular thing over here because I saw that in Indianapolis. Or between here and there a couple times on the road. So there's the Dodgeums bumper cars over here. Wow, they're actually going. Every time I film the bumper cars at uh, the amusement park, they're always stopped. This is like the first time they're actually going. Woo! Oh, that was a good one. 
<laughs> Head on collision. Boom. <laughs> you got your car carnival game. Win your prizes. You got the swing ride. And we're about to go ride Orion. There's Orion. Area 72, which is Orion and Flight of Fear. So excited. It's kind of the theme of the Area 72 is like alien, paranormal activity, that kind of stuff. And here goes the racer, the blue. There's a red one there too. Oh yeah, you can see them. There's a red and blue car uh, train on the the racer. It's a double, double like a Gemini at uh, Cedar Point. And then this is Flight of Fear here, which is the indoor roller coaster. That is also a great coaster. Flight of Fear. All right, here goes Orion. So excited. That's a great coaster, I love it. <laughs> this one's hard, you can, it's really hard to film the first hill on this one because it's like way off in the distance away from the park, but believe me, this coaster is freaking awesome. I love it. Oh, I am. All right, I just put my backpack in the locker and um, I have my fanny pack on now. <laughs> this is where I put my cell phone so I can take um, videos when I'm closer to the ride. Uh, they do allow fanny packs at Kings Island on most rides, I think. I can't remember, um, but this one's good. So I put my phone in there when I'm riding. going on the hill, it goes pretty fast up the hill, starts to speed up. Yay. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm here again. I'm so excited. <laughs> kind of decided yesterday or the day before that I was gonna come here, so I'm super thrilled. All right, it's time to ride Orion. Here's the seat and what it looks like. Uh, this kind of pulls back on you, pulls back and goes on you like that then if the green light is green then you're good to go oh, wait, to those who are absolutely about ready to fly we salute you Orion and I am fast lane so I'm gonna go right through my fast lane line yeah baby some of the theming I love the theming of Orion too Makes you feel like you're in an industrial research area for paranormal activity. And so there's the regular line, and here's the fast pass. Area 72, Radium XL 200. When it's really busy, this is part of the queue in here. It's like a research area. Uh, I got lockers for the for the quote-unquote workers at the research lab. Orion, by for briefing. And there's like a video plays there. Got all kinds of fun stuff. And then just like that, this is pretty much a walk-on, guys. We're about to walk on Orion pretty much. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, what a beautiful day today is. All right, and I got a, I'm gonna ride it right in the back. That's side second pole. Back row is my favorite okay, on this sure ride. Sure that, sure that, sure that.
just did a riot. It was freaking awesome. Oh my god, I love that ride. So fun, so fun. We just did it. It was so good. I love the seats on this one. I just love everything about this ride. It's so fun and peaceful and not peaceful, but like smooth, I mean. All right, I'm about to do Flight of Fear. Flight of Fear, which is the indoor coaster. Pretty cool, pretty cool. It's kind of weird the, uh, the fast lane is. Entrance is in the exit on this one. So I can't really, so the queue is actually pretty cool without the fast lane, so that is one benefit without the fast lane is you get to see the cool queue. Oh, maybe I do get to see it. Yay, I do. So it's like a uh, space themed. Dark coaster, it's a launch coaster. I forgot to say that. A dark launch coaster. <laughs> Off coming red, if you come on in and take your seats, pull down in your lap bar. Do not touch your seatbelt. <laughs> Oh my gosh, so good. That was awesome. <laughs> that was so wonderful. Whew. It was great. It was great. <laughs> oh, so fun. So the um, front is all, the first half is awesome in the front. Oh my gosh, that was the first time I've ridden it in the front. The second half is better in the back. But oh, front and back are both great on that one. It launches you right into darkness and then you go upside down a bunch of bunch of times. Like, very fun. I love that ride. Okay, that just happened to be right next to um, Orion, so I jumped on it. Here's some of the theming outside of Flight of Fear coaster. Kind of like a mock NASA or paranormal activity area. Yeah, we just did it. Flight of Fear. Very good. Yeah, and I'm so glad. <laughs> the Fastlane Plus paying off again, because I would have been in that line for, that's like an hour wait for non-Fastlane, and I did it in about 10 minutes. And there's also a Meteor Canteen Consumption Station. Not open right now, um, it's still kind of early in the season, but during the busy months, I'm sure this will be open and hopping. Here's the menu, Meteor Canteen, pause to read that if you'd like. And they have pretzel bites. All right, probably hit the racer while I'm here too, because I love wooden roller coasters. Also, when I get topping, there's an Orion Seltzer cart, Astra Hard Seltzer by March 1st. And that's usually open and serving drinks. And you can get your picture in the picture booth. And there are the swings are up and running. <laughs> I used to think swings were cheesy because they weren't like thriller level, but at Dorney Park, I was so tired. The swings were so peaceful and relaxing to just hop on and swing around on. So now I kind of have a new respect for them. It's like a peaceful breeze. Because I had gone to Dorney Park right after two days at uh, Six Flags Great Adventure where I rode <laughs> King Dakar 13 times. So I was so tired. Um, so yeah, swings I like now. Gorillas, those are cool. 
So you think I'll go to the racer later because the ex entrance is way down there. So I'm gonna head this way. Might do the wind seeker. I don't think I did that last time I was here. Kind of on the way to where I'm heading next. Uh, I think I'll head down towards the beast and maybe hit that and then swing around the diamond back and then loop back around this way and we'll do the racer later. Oh, look at that seahorse. That's my favorite prize I've seen so far. I love seahorses. Did you know that the males carry the babies in the seahorse world? Oh, also here's the antique cars going by. Rivertown, Miami, Valley Railroad. The old classic cars. There goes Diamondback! Right behind the jukebox. Alright, I think I'm gonna go do this um, wind seeker. I did not do this at last time I was here. Um, I've done it at uh, Cedar Point in King's Dominion, but I haven't, didn't do it here last year, I don't think. There's the entrance to the autos, by the way. So let's go down here. Ooh, here's a good view of Orion. Goes Orion behind the car. This is about as close as I can get to the first drop. Um, like I said, it's really far away from any public spaces. So there it goes. Um, I'm kind of weave away from the park over there. So kind of behind the racers. That's about all I can film of Orion, like I said, because it's so far away from the park. It's on the outskirts, I should say. It's on the outskirts of the park. All right, let's go do this wind seeker. I'm in the mood to go up high and spin in the wind. It's actually hot today. It's like 85 degrees. Okay, I'm about to go do the wind seeker. This is the one that goes up and spins you all around. I found another spot. Film Orion. Still very far away from it, but behind the racer. Which hill does it go up first? That one. That's a great ride. We just rode the wind seeker. It was awesome. That's what the seats look like, by the way. It's a nice peaceful ride up there. Like I, I like to. That was my first time on it here at Kings Island, um, and I really liked. Well, I liked it. It's beautiful up there to see the whole park, and looks like I'm closest to the beast next. I'm gonna go to the beast, and then probably Diamondback. I'm gonna go shake, rattle, and roll. I've not done that one yet. Um, I tend to save my energy for the big coasters like Diamondback there. About to go up.
don't mind this copyright song in the background. Hopefully you can hear it as much as you need. I can. I'm trying to say. Dippin' Dots. With Coca-Cola. Dippin' Dots. Alright. Got some pizzeria here. Place to get your beer. Age and weight isn't open quite yet this year. with Diamondback I walk right past um, where the Beast entrance is. I'm gonna go on the Beast first. Then we'll do Diamondback after. Went the wrong way. Last time I was here last year that was a haunted house of some sort. And listen for the sound that this makes at the bottom. It's like a rattlesnake. Someone pointed me out that out to me. You guys hear that rattly snaky sound at the very bottom of this Diamondback Hill? Someone pointed out to me in the YouTube YouTube comments that what is that sound? And someone said it was something I can't remember, but I think it sounds like a rattlesnake, like Diamondback, <laughs> like a Diamondback is a type of a snake. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Yeah, the seats are staggered. I love it. mind the copyright music if it is that. Kind of a pretty view here. Look at that. Nice. So I almost forgot you have to uh, follow the beast tracks here. This leads you to the beast. Just behind Diamondback. You look for the beast tracks on the ground. The beast. And the tracks lead you to the entrance of the beast. This is right there. The beast entrance. And then we're gonna go to fast lane, which is over here. Like you said before, that is one of the only um, downfalls of the fast lane is that sometimes you have to enter through the exit so you miss the queue. So sometimes I'll Sometimes I'll just walk through the queue, even if I'm gonna use Fastlane just to get closer to the ride and take the different angle of the video or something like that. Very long trains. Long trains on the beast. Long trains, long roller coaster. If you guys have ever been on the beast, you know that it goes super, super slow. The tracker goes <laughs> very slow up the hill. Um, I'm surprised they haven't fixed that oh, this, after last year. Maybe it's just part of the ride itself, but it goes very, very slow up the hill. But the rest of it is very fast and intense. It's an amazing coaster. And another reason, of course, why fast lane pays off. By passing that whole line. 
It could be. But it's got uh, old school wood from back in the day. It's an amazing coaster. There's some fall Halloween haunt memories for you. Over near the beast is the old slaughterhouse. Haunted house that is awesome in the fall Halloween time. All right. And we're in the back again. Like I said, it's ba I just basically walked on with my fast lane. That would have been 45 minute wait. 45 minute wait at least with without this. So I'm telling you, you can get the all season, all parks, six play or not six flags. Cedar Fair, Fastlane Plus. It's a thousand dollars, and you get in Fastlane at every park every day all year. Can't beat that, especially if you travel. Lots of traveling. I do, obviously. If you hit a lot of amusement parks, you should definitely uh, hit it up. It's amazing. Just did the beast. Just did the beast, and I did not break my rib. Last year, I totally think I broke my rib on this ride. It was crazy. And I just met someone from Buffalo who was riding next to me, so I gotta talk to him in a second. We're gonna talk. Yeah, it was super cool. I was on the beast, and the guy right in front of me is from Buffalo, which is where I'm from, and he also does vlogs. And he just got into coasters last year, which is like 100% me the same. It was crazy. So his name is Chaz. Uh, he owns a buff restaurant in Buffalo, and <laughs> I've worked, spent the last six years working in Buffalo, so that was crazy. Um, I live so just south of Buffalo, it's my mom's house, um, so pretty cool, amazing. All right, uh, there's the brew house there, right by Diamondback, if you want some beer and brews, and then I'm over here, I'm gonna go do Mystic Timbers, Mystic Timbers, this is another great, uh, wooden coaster um yeah i did the beast um it was great i did not break my rib this time which is awesome <laughs> so good yeah because last year i don't know if it was, the, it was the end of the year or what but i and the track must have been more rough at the end of the year but i went around one corner on the beast and my rib like jolted and i heard a pop <laughs> and then it was very sore for like four four months or four weeks um but i still rode roller coasters after that that day <laughs> Here goes the train, by the way. Hey, do you have a train here? I should ride that. Maybe I'll ride the train after. Um, I'm gonna do Mystic Timbers, Diamondback, and then maybe we'll ride the train and just see where it goes. I don't know. Here goes Mystic Timbers. This is a fun wooden coaster. like the beast that weaves through the woods so i can't really get you much footage of the beast or this one um the beast seemed far less intense this year like it was not uh as crazy um rough so maybe it's because at the beginning of the year uh but last year like i said i seriously broke my rib last year doing it so we'll see what mystic timbers is like honestly think it was a little more fun than the beast this year the beast wasn't very crazy this year for some reason today today i should say it might change by day but i like mystic timbers a little better than the beast how about that the beast was twice as long though which i love that um mystic timbers is kind of short but yeah have fun guys enjoy your ride <laughs> Stay 
Enjoy the ride! through the forest over there so again beautiful to ride but can't really film it for you the wooden coasters here at Kings Island are very slow on the, in the hills it's funny to me, but they're great coasters. After the hill. Here comes the train! Train here. This is right near the Mystic Timbers entrance. Basically, there's the Mystic Timbers entrance, and there's the train entrance, just to the left of it. Let's look for this red building. Red building. Uh, and you just like go down right there. It's kind of hard to see. All right, I've taken enough videos of Diamondback. It's time to go ride it. Looks like there's a log ride here um, as well. Log flume ride. I wouldn't mind getting wet, to be honest with you. It's really hot today. So let's go do Diamond Back. Here's a look at the. It's not very tall, um, but I was just looking at some people and they look very wet. So there must be like something that falls on you, like a waterfall or something. This is part of Snoopy, the Snoopy, Planet Snoopy, that's what I'm trying to say. Planet Snoopy, which is like the kids area. Charlie Brown going whitewater rafting. Race for your life, Charlie Brown. And y'all gonna make me run. So there are a bunch of rides in Planet Snoopy, which is over there. All kinds of kids' rides. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of want to ride that. Yellow and or yellow and orange roller coaster over there. Um, it's a kids coaster, but it looks pretty cool. I'm gonna give it a try. Maybe later. Good grief, Charlie Brown! This is Linus Launcher here. This is pretty cool. <laughs> I kind of want to do this one too. I don't know if you have to have a kid with you, but it looks fun. You lay on your stomach and like go for a flying ride. Minus launcher. Go. Got frozen cocktails here. The trading post store over there. Coca Cola refreshment. Here's the entrance. Diamondback, right there. Finally, get a ride. Diamondback. This is this and Orion are my two favorite rides here at uh, Kings Island. Love it. And here's what the seat looks like. I love the seats on this one because they're like staggered. Um, it's very unique. I've never been on one quite like this one. Pretty cool. Pretty. Cool.
enjoy your ride here on the one, the only time it's back. Goodbye. Powered by Alexa. Onboarding riders to the train is approaching the station. Please secure all the starts. We'll sell no excitement. One and hit number one only. Welcome back. Great change. How's your ride? And we just did Diamondback. Diamondback. I love how um, unique the staggered teeth are. This is so good. So much fun. <laughs> forgot how um, you get a little wet on the back seat. I forgot. Got a little wet. It felt good actually. I was in the back row. It was great. Very fun. And Orion, sorry, I love you because you're brand new, newish, but um, Diamondback has beat you out as my favorite ride at Cedar Point. Not Cedar Point. That's my favorite ride at Kings Island. I love that ride. I'm going to go on it again. It was so much fun. Diamondback. Here's the store as you exit. That was awesome. Oh, oh, I love that hoodie right there. That blue one. I don't need another hoodie, but that's beautiful. Let's see what stickers are. Um, I love that too. Yeah, I really like this hoodie. The only thing I don't like is that, but you, would, you wouldn't see that because I'd be inside. It's a nice hoodie. I do not need it though. I do not need it. I have enough hoodies for right now. And I'm gonna do Diamondback again because it's my favorite at Kings Island now. Last time I did the back, this time I'm going to do the front. Front row. Front of the train this time. Front of the train. Right, that time we did the back or the front row of Diamondback. Uh, my favorite is the back row, though. Oh, so good, so good. Um, the front row is neat because you can see uh, see everything in front of you, but the back is just where it's at for the the feeling. So good, amazing. I love you, Diamondback. All right, now I got to do go do Banshee and Vertigo. Banshee and Vertigo. Uh, Delirium and the Racer. Four four more rides left on my list for the day. And we'll be here tomorrow too, so if we don't get to all of them, that's all right. Because it's uh, about four o'clock and the park closes at seven o'clock, I believe. So we'll probably be able be able to do all those in three hours, but we'll see. All right, so here's some some of Planet Snoopy. Planet Snoopy Grill. There's a bunch of kids rides over here. I'm not gonna walk through there, but there are some awesome kids rides like this one here. A caras small carousel for the kids. I think there's another one. There is another one, like for adults in a different area. You got those, you got ice cream over here as well. Lots of school groups here today. 
Then over here you have the, the great pumpkin coaster. It's like a little mini mini coaster for the kiddos. Here goes the pumpkin coaster for the kids. I'd like to say mini uh, coaster enthusiasts in the making right there. <laughs> it does go around twice too. Then when you leave Planet Snoopy it says have a great day. And it brings you over to the Eiffel Tower. Where there's Tom and Chi. Sister Holmes is the family care center. Hmm. I don't know what that is. Is that like a daycare? Like, can you leave the, your kids there while you go ride coasters? I don't know. Oh, all right, we're gonna head to the other side of the park. There's a theater over here. If you guys remember last year, there was a lot of Halloween shows there. The International Show, Show Place Theater. And you can go up in the Eiffel Tower. You can go up in that. I'm not gonna do it today, but you can go up there. You got the French corner here. It has French food. Then there is a stage where they have shows throughout the day um, near the fountain. And I kind of entered a strange way because I, I came in and then I went straight to Orion. So, but normally when you come right in the entrance, right where I first showed you that fountain, normally the fountain you come in there and then the fountain brings you right to the Eiffel Tower. And that's like the the main image or look of when you get to King's, King's Island, much like King's Dominion, as you saw a few weeks ago. King's Dominion and King's Island are very similar layouts as far as the fountain and the Eiffel Tower. Yeah, they got a nice big old stage over here and the gorgeous fountain. It's a beautiful marigold there. Those are pretty. The fountain is really beautiful at night when the, when it's all lit up. There is a glass shop where you can get spun glass, name on rice engravings. Cool. Hello. How are you today? Good yourself? I'm quite well. Oh, he's making glass pieces. That's beautiful. Thank you. How cool. Very nice. Those are awesome. Look at all this. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, nice. All stuff up here is stuff that I've made today. Oh my gosh, look at those. You made all those. That's great, dude. Very nice. Beautiful. A hanging hummingbirds and whatnot. Beautiful artwork. Come and check it out. It's near the stage by the fountain and the Eiffel Tower. It's called Creative Glass. You can also get your name on rice. Right name on rice. Rice crack. Right, next to the glass shop is another store, of course. Store, Snoopy gear, you got all your Snoopy stuff. Cedar Fair Parks are Peanuts characters, are the mascots at most of the Cedar Fair Parks. So you'll always see those. Much like Six Flags is like DC Comics, right? DC? I don't know much about comics still, but I'm learning just because of Six Flags. Superman and all those are all at um, Six Flags Park, but Cedar Fair is Peanuts. Must be the uh, locations of Kings Island. It's cool. Some plushies. Spirit jerseys, basically. Kings Island towels. And then over here they have uh, Squishmallows. Big Squishmallows, small Squishmallows, every size of Squishmallows. Squishmallows. This is the Fest House. Uh, I've actually never been in here. This was closed last year when I was here, so let's take a wander through. I do remember this clock though. I think every hour on the hour, like, these people come out of those doors up there. Let me know what that means, if you know what that means in German there. I'm assuming it's German. I do not know.
There was some copyright music playing here, so I'm doing a little bit of a voiceover, but this is kind of a food court, indoor food court here. It has some restaurants and some live performances at various times. Here you can get some drinks and beverages, alcoholic. And there's a Panda Express in here as well. Cool, cool. A couple of other restaurants, some neat flags from around the world and some live performances so you can see a show while you're eating. Live entertainment while you eat. And then it brings you out right to the delirium, which it said it was down when I looked at the map, but there are people on it right now. So I'm gonna go ride it. Yay! I love delirium, it's one of my favorites. So delirium delirium is like Max Air at Cedar Point. Harley Quinn Spin Sanity at, let's see if I can get all these right, Six Flags America and Wonder Woman Lasso of Truth at Six Flags Great Adventure. Uh, I think there's probably more of them out there, but those are the ones that I've ridden so far. Um, yeah, definitely love Delirium. All right, folks, we just did Delirium here at King's Island. Um, I still love that ride, but after doing Harley Quinn Spin Sanity at King's I or Six Flags America and Wonder Woman Lasso of Truth at Six Flags Great Adventure, those ones are so high that this one does not go as high. So if you can ride those other two, go do them. They're freaking awesome. This one is still great, um, but if you've never done one of these rides, of course, do it. It's freaking awesome. I love it. but. I don't know, that one just didn't go as high and was kind of short. Maybe it's just the way they operated it, I don't know. But I still love it, but not uh, as much as the other two. And there goes Fancy. We'll ride that in a little bit. Classic B&M style, like... That one's Banshee. We'll go by that in a little bit. We have a chicken shack over near the Invertigo ride and Delirium chicken shack. And they do have a water ride called Congo Falls. Congo Falls. All right, here it comes. You ready? Woo! Oh, shit. Oh, oh, the mist got me. I thought that wave was going to get me, actually. Oh, there goes Invertigo again. About to go ride in Vertigo. So in Vertigo, it kind of goes forward, then backwards. Then back and forth, like forward, then backwards.
we just did in Vertigo. That was great. Great ride. So fun. I was in the the front or back, whatever you want to consider that, back there. <laughs> That's a good ride. Love it. Yeah, it goes backwards and frontwards. have one of these uh, pay for attractions you gotta pay more and you can go flying flying oh also I forgot about the bat I gotta go ride the bat I never did that last year here's the coaster connection I do need to buy some more tank tops um, I don't like the way that one looks actually tank tops lots of under armor here flip flops We've got a little van section as well over there. Sunglasses, all that good stuff. Little model, model, model coasters. Look at Orion basketballs. Oh, that's a cute hoodie too. Look at that one. Kings Island. Oh. Same stuff, different store. The bat, that's kind of cute. There was a Diamondback shirt I liked at that last store, but they didn't have a large, and that's the size I wanted, wanted was a large. They didn't have one. Mason, Ohio. All right, let's go out ride the Banshee. Banshee. goes through that loop. Yeah, I really like that. The three-dimensionality of the the Banshee sign. We're about to do Banshee! Banshee! I forgot how good Banshee is. Oh, it's a great ride. Very fun. Really enjoyed it. All right, I'm gonna go do the bat. Never done the bat before. Um, down over there. Let's go do it. Here's the Extreme Flyer, by the way. That's just the, those are the prices, $20. And you get to fly all over the place. I'm excited, I've never done the bat. I think it's just an old school swinging coaster, but um, hey, I like that kind of stuff sometimes. Like right now I'm in a relaxing mood because 
got stuck on Banshee at the end. Um, <laughs> someone puked or something, so I was stuck on the train behind it on the on the trail for a little bit. So we're gonna go do the bet. One of those old school swinging coasters like Iron Dragon at Peter Point. And then it drops into the woods. quite a cool path to get over here um definitely way out of the way kind of got to walk all over the place but it's worth it because i'm in the mood for a relaxing swing coaster that's what they're called swing coaster what are these kind of co coasters called well let me know in the comments it's beautiful here in cincinnati nice and lush or mason ohio i should say jeez Sure does make you walk. Just did the bat. That was fun. I really enjoyed that ride. The bat. It's actually more fun, a little more intense than I thought it was going to be. It was great. The bats. I just looked it up and it says it opened as Top Gun in 1993. Uh, then it was called something else and then the bat. So it's had a couple of different names, but I don't know if you can tell there, but the track is so thin. <laughs> compared to how they make them these days. 1993, so I was 13 when this was made, and now I'm 30 years later. But if you want to do the bat, be prepared to walk like half a mile, because it's like <laughs> a quarter mile to walk down to the coaster, and then a quarter mile to walk back to the rest of the park. Whew, it's way out in the middle of nowhere. I don't know if you can see it way over there. Quite a walk. Oh. I'm in the mood to swim right now. <laughs> Wish there were somewhere to go swimming. Where am I? Cincinnati. There's an ice cream zone and some shade, a shady area near Banshee if you're looking for a place to sit and relax. Oh, and near uh, Delirium as well. They do have a beer stand right in front of Delirium also. And a Dippin' Dots. Not open today, but a Dippin' Dots. I can't remember if I got the delirium sign, but there it is. Delirium. The uh, park closes in about 50 minutes, five zero minutes. So I'm gonna head over to uh, Ryan one more time. And then the only thing I didn't do that I wanted to was the racer. I'm gonna do the racer and Adventure Express, Adventure Express, but we'll save that for tomorrow. So I'm gonna do a Ryan and the racer. Actually, the racer is right here. So I'll probably do that first. Got your basketball. Look at those prizes. Wow. Way downtown. All right, let's go do the racer. I like this ride. It's kind of like the uh, blue streak at Cedar Point. It's actually a dual coaster, so it has two trains. There's the red racer and the blue one's over there. And we just did the blue, the blue train of the racer. 
and there's the red train over there. It was a walk-on, so got on real quick. Uh, here comes the blue sign. I think I see the red side over there, but there's the green side. Fun. Again, that's another old school coaster. All right, time to do Orion. There goes the monster. The monster. Spinny ride. Plenty of arcade games for you, or carnival games, or whatever you call them. That one says arcade. <laughs> Look at those. Bam. Bam. There goes the racer. The red, the red car. Well, they're both up there. You can only see the red one. Oh, there's the blue one. I had to see the back of it. The other side. They're both up there. Well, that sucks. I guess I should have rode Orion twice earlier. Um, it's down, apparently. They're walking people off it right now. <laughs> Happen, but it's down. So since Orion was down, I decided to do Flight of Fear again because it's right here. Um, you just have to expect that some rides are going to be uh, closed down or break down, and they were walking people off when I got there. So how about I highly doubt it'll be open now. Yep, Orion looks like it's down. So we just did Flight of Fear again. That was great. Uh, Ryan looks like it's closed for the day because the park closes in 20 minutes, so they're done. They're not going to reopen it. Um, so I got to figure out what I want to do. Do I want to go to Diamondback one more time? Or the only thing I have done is Backlot, Stunt Coaster, and Adventure Express. I think Ad Ad Adventure Express might be down too. And Backlot Stunt, Co Backlot Stunt Coaster is... It's cool, but it's small. So I think I'm going to go do Diamondback for a third time as my last ride. Right. Is he swing? So this is the back lot stunt coaster. It's kind of like like you're on a Hollywood set. Like you can see Beverly Hills if you can read that. It looks like it's about to come right now. So you can kind of see it going through. It's a fun coaster. It's like a launch coaster, but it's little and um, yeah. But it does light some fire. You'll see it in a second here when you're on the coaster. Um, it's usually a fire thing. And it's like you're doing stunts on a movie set. Yeah, there you go. See that fire? <laughs> and then the coaster stops right by that fire. The view of the Eiffel Tower. So because we only did, or this will be my third time doing Diamondback and we only did Orion once, when I get here tomorrow I'll do Orion like three or four times in a row to balance it out. Woo! It's hot. I'm ready to swim. There's the planet Snoopy sign which you probably can't see because of the sun. Yeah. This is coming through the other way from the fountain or Eiffel Tower I mean. And last ride of the day. Last ride of the day is gonna be Diamondback. Last ride of the day. All right. And last ride of the night for me was Diamondback. I just did it twice in a row. Since Orion was down, I ran over here and did it two times back to back thanks to Fastlane Plus for Fastlane, whatever they call it here. But um, that concludes day one of Kings Island. That was great. Had a great time. Uh, I love this park. It's great. If, you can ever, if you've never been here, come here and spend at least two days here, uh, especially if it's busy. Um, you really need the, the extra time to ride everything. It's a big park, so lots to do. Oh, they have the shirt I want over there. <gasps> Maybe they have this in a large. This is the shirt I wanted at a different store. They didn't have a large. I love that color and what a 
Diamondback. I love the Diamondback ride, so I need this shirt in large. Hopefully they have it in large here. Well, it was not meant to be because they did not have a large, so they only had, they have every other side except for large here and at the other store. Um, no larges, so I'll see if there's any other stores tomorrow or on my way out that have it. I'm gonna go to the restroom and clean up before I go to the van, even though I'm about to go to Planet Fitness, but I gotta wash my hands and get some water and parts. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you, Snoopy. I feel like you right now. Whew, it was a hot one today. And I can already feel the sunburn on my lips. <laughs> Let's put chapstick on. There's also a sweet spot with treats, caricatures, and nice little tables to relax in the, in the shade. Right near this ice cream place, Grace. What's that say? Gray tears? Graders? Yeah. There's also a Cinnabon and a pizzeria. This is all near the, the entrance. Um, the park is now closed. I'm actually on my way out. Uh, but just wanted to let you know because I didn't come down this way when I got here. So there's a pizzeria and a Build a Bear workshop as well, right near the entrance. And you got Kings Island Trading Company. See what they got in here. Kings Island Mugs, Adventures, whatever it's called. <laughs> got some pigs area over here. Pigs and more feminine colors on this side. Puppy love. And over here you got your sweatshirt. Squishy, squish mellows or whatever they're called. Kings Island, Diamondback. Still don't see that t-shirt I've been looking for. And a nice little pretty cart with some flowers right next to the fountain. Beautiful. Oh, look at all the geese lined up. They're like, oh, the humans are leaving. Yay, we get our pond back. <laughs> So the park's closed. <laughs> the geese are like, yay! The music is gonna stop soon and we can have a good night's rest. Goodbye, Kings Island. It's been fun, we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> and last store on the way out is the Essentials. Kings Island Essentials. Nice, nice. Ooh. Hello. Let's see if there's any other magnets I need in here. I've only bought eight magnets today. We'll see if there's any more. Kings Island. Let's see, which ones we rode today? I rode Mystic Timbers, The Bat, Flight of Fear, and Vertigo, The Racer, The Beast, Diamondback, Banshee, and Orion. We got them all. We rode every single one of those today. That's great. Awesome. All right, and we are leaving, leaving, leaving. Time to go. I'm ready to take a shower. Take a shower and we gotta go to Walmart. What do I need at Walmart? I need a box and bubble wrap to send all my VCon stuff back to my mom's house because I bought so much VCon stuff at Cincinnati. And then I need to do laundry. Oh, I need to run to um, CVS and pick up my prescriptions. Uh, I need to get those. I think they probably close at 9 o'clock, so that's where I'm heading tonight. And a shower up Planet Fitness, so I have a lot to do, actually. <laughs> Morning, folks. Today is day two of King's Island, and I'm wearing my King's Island shirt I bought last fall when I was there for Halloween hunt. Uh, day two of King's Island. I just took the the van life shower. Oh, I'm not going to plan it. I showered last night at Planet Fitness, so today I used my wet wipes. Uh, wet wipes are your best friend in <laughs> in uh, van life, and these are my favorite brand. They're from Walmart. Um, I've used lots of different wet wipes, and those are my favorites. They've got the best consistency in that they don't rip, they don't leave like fuzzies all over me. Um, they're sensitive so they don't have like uh, smells or anything. I'll leave the description in the 
Um, the link in the description if you want to try them out. They're, they're my favorite wipe. I have like 10 packs in the car <laughs> just in case I need them. This is a chamois, by the way. I used to be on the swim team for a long time. And when, you, when you're on the swim team, you really use these chamois. Um, it used to be Speedo. Speedo used to make them. I think they still make them, but Flow is now like the, the main brand on Amazon. But they're like a almost like a car chamois, but they're for humans. Like you get you get it wet and then it dries you really quick and then you just squeeze it and it um, dries again. And then you just squeeze it when it get it wet, squeeze it. They're pretty cool. So it works good for van life because then I can just reuse it and not have to worry about having a wet towel. <laughs> All right, and I'm gonna put my solar panel up to charge my Blue Eddy. Um, my Blue Eddy here. I still have never had to use the Jackery, so that's 100% still. This is the one I normally use, and that's a coaster I have um, supporting the human rights campaign. I usually put my drink there when I'm eating at night, sitting in there, watching TV on my phone, or YouTube, I should say, on my phone. So I'm gonna charge this with my solar panel. I'll show you how I set that up. So I basically go to my front seat. Also, I did laundry last night. Uh, after the park, so my laundry is normally right there by my water bottle, so it's all clean. Yay! I did my laundry, and my laundry bag is empty. Okay, so for the solar panel, those are my um, supplements, by the way. <laughs> I take a bunch of supplements and vitamins and whatnot, uh, and a couple medications. Um, I have OCD slash suffered from depression for many, many years, so uh, if you ever need someone to talk to, reach out to me. Um, I've been through it all, yeah, so I'm a safe space for you, um, doing much better now, I got on the right medications to straighten things out in my life and doing much better these days, but I do take some medications for depression, anxiety, and OCD. Um, Alright, so this is, I guess I'm doing a little tour for you, so that's what my blackout curtain looks like, by the way. Here is my cooler. This is pretty fun too. The top of my cooler um, is very slippery, so I bought this. It's like a dish drainer bottom, and it fits right on here and keeps things from slipping. It's great. So I keep my solar panel just tucked down here between the passenger seat and my cooler, which is great. And if I'm using it when I'm at a park or not at my vehicle, I'll remove my little turtle and elephant and put them somewhere. We'll put them over here right now with my stars because me and my four best friends have star tattoos. Here's mine. <laughs> so I got my stars. It reminds me of my best friends. Um, and I put my solar panel right up here and just park in the sun while I'm at the park. So let me set it up for you. Oh, and the other thing is I keep in my front seat. That's obviously my water bottle with a pump on it. Um, so I keep uh, in the front seat napkins because I've had sinus problems my whole life and my honker is huge. So I can't use regular Kleenex. I blow right through them. So <laughs> I use um, Walmart brand of family napkins are my favorite. They're the best. Uh, they work the best for my nose because I've had sinus issues. I've had two sinus surgeries. I'll get into it some other day, but these are my, these are my tissues. Uh, basically family napkins from Walmart, the 500 pack. Then I've got... Uh, some wet wipes there, a big pack, and these ones are actually antibacterial wipes, these side ones, um, kind of from Home Depot, I don't know if they still sell them, it was the last year. So that's pretty much all I keep up in the front, um, and then my laundry is usually there in a big stack, um, over here, oh, this thing has been working out really well, um, this cigarette lighter that turns one cigarette lighter into multiple working really great to charge my power banks while I'm on the road driving and other things like it has I think I showed you in the other video but it also has USBs powered uh, USB fast charger USB-C also there's another USB-C connected to the the beginning so I made a separate video on that um, if I haven't posted it yet I'll leave a link for that in the description as well pretty cool so on the back side of the Jackery is where the uh, charger is. Basically this is the cord that I plug it into and this plugs, these plug into each other and then this plugs into my power bank. Then you can also charge uh, USB-C here, LED. Oh, I think that just tells you if it's on. And then uh, USB, 
uh, regular USB there. There's the information, by the way. I can't remember if I showed you guys that before. Um, yeah. So I take my power cord out. Let me connect that. Okay, so we connected the power, and then I basically just take the. Um, let me zip this up actually. So it's. I kind of keep it like that and then I will unfold it and put it right up in the dashboard. So it unfolds like that and like that. So it's a big old foldy and then we bring it up here. Sorry, I can't do that with one hand. And just lay it in the in the uh, windshield. Kind of like that. And that's what it looks like from the front. And yes, I know it doesn't charge quite as great through a windshield. Uh, you, prefer, you should ideally have it um, directly in the sun, but I'm gonna be in the amusement park for nine hours today. I think the park's open 10 to seven, Kings, Kings Island. Um, so, hey, at least I'm charging my battery bank for nine hours and it'll be sun through the windshield. Supposed to get sunnier um, a little bit. It's a little tiny overcast right now, but for after nine hours, I'm, I'll have a pretty good charge. All right. Turn Here. right onto Kings Island Drive. I will do that. Thank you. There's Kings Island. I almost missed the sign because I'm talking. In a quarter mile, you will arrive at your destination. All right, back to Kings Island. Ten to seven today. Day two, Kings Island. Sporting the Kings Island shirt at Kings Island. There goes Invertigo. And I'm gonna talk over this because Marin Morris is playing in the background. So that's kind of how it works. It goes up like that. And then once it's ready to go, then it shoots you down. Then you go backwards and forwards, both ways. Wahoo! Maybe our amusement park, my church, haha, <laughs> Marin Morris. And then it goes up there and then shoots you back down the other way. Pretty fun. <laughs> Pretty cool. Loving where to go. And bring it right back. That one actually makes me pretty dizzy. It made me dizzy yesterday. And sorry, my eyes are red. I put some, um, I put some eye drops in. I think it's because I wore sun lotion yesterday. I put sun lotion on again today. I switched sun lotions or I bought a new one. So I haven't used it yet, but I'm hoping that one will not make my eyes as red. It might've been just from being on the roller coasters too. Who knows? All right, let's scan my pass and get in here. Sure is a beautiful day today. Island. Lots of school groups, school groups and whatnot coming through. Let's get that sign behind them. Kings Island. All right, just picked up my fast pass, of course. And today it says drop tower, which is kind of funny because the drop tower is not open. Well, maybe it is. Maybe it's open today. Beautiful, beautiful. We are ready to go. And once you enter the park, you got a beautiful cart here with some flowers, and then the fountain and tower, of course. And then Grain and Grill International Kitchen. Open 12 to 7 today. It has like uh, Moroccan chicken, glazed pork, all that kind of stuff. International cuisine. Next to that is a Starbucks for your, your coffee fiends. I was once one. Just next to the fountain is a Starbucks. Come and get your nitro cold brews and whatnot. And pretty big Starbucks. And this Starbucks is Swiss themed. It's got the Swiss flags up there. The Wishbone Grill is not open yet, but it does have turkey legs. With an Auntie Anne's on the corner as well. 
There are some shops on that side too. Uh, I think I showed you guys those at the end of last night as I was walking out. This is where the, oh, I'm just, I might go get this shirt. Um, I was thinking I wanted a large Diamondback shirt, but now that I think about it, the medium might work actually, because it might not need a large. Um, I'm gonna try and lose weight, so. I know I'm not like giant or anything, but I do have some pudgy pudgy on my belly and boobies, belly and boobs. <laughs> but this is the one I was looking at yesterday. And I think I really like it because I don't have any shirts that color. It's like a, a pinkish coral tone. And I love Diamondback. It's my favorite ride here. So I think I got to get it. And there's the Apple Tower. Here we go to the pirate ship. Fun. <laughs> it's actually really pretty on the other side. It goes over some water. I'll try and show you it later. I also have a grand carousel, of course. Wouldn't be a amusement park without a carousel. the carousel is the tower and I think I'm gonna go up the tower right now uh, first thing because oh there's an also another new bell there as well uh, I think I'm gonna go up the tower now because it's open and that way I won't risk missing going up there for you guys because I want to I want to go up and see how it looks <laughs> Thank you so much. All right, we're up in the tower. So I got Drop Tower, Banshee there, Orion over there. Diamond back. There's the backlot stunt coaster. Beautiful up here. It's Planet Snoopy. There's the fountain. Fountain down there. My car is out there somewhere. Oh, I see it. Huh. It is. Can you guys see it? It's toward the back of the lot there. Pretty nice up here. I don't know which side is. Where Cincinnati is. I think I'd be able to see that, but I don't know. And as of right now, um, Orion is down. Um, it broke down last night, as you guys saw. Right, I was going to ride it one of my last rides but it's broken down and still not open yet so we'll see if they open it or not today i hope they do because i love it um and then you see the racer there as well the white one pretty neat oh i wanted to also see oh there's a tower down, or a clock down there can you see that king's island clock oh, yeah and i wanted to show you guys i'm in the tower that's out of my shirts. I'm up in the tower. <laughs> King's Island, me! Love it, love it, love it. Oh, also there's the uh, Wind Seeker as well. And there's the Wind Seeker in all its glory. Beautiful from up here. All right. So hopefully they're working on Orion, maybe. Uh, hope it opens at some point today. Not today. Oh, it's not at all? What happened? What's that? What happened? We can't let you know what happened, but it's just, like, I can tell you it's, it will not be open today. Gotcha, so it sounds like something bad might have happened. Um, I know they were people were getting off it last night, so we got word from here. They can't tell us what happened, but something happened. So, oh, that's no good. Dang, scary. All right, we are good. That's a tower, that is beautiful. Awesome, awesome. Some of the inner workings of it. Alright, how was that view? Awesome. Yeah, I liked it. Do you have any questions while we're on the way back down?
Beautiful, thank you. I love it up there. It's my favorite spot to work. Nice. I guess I can hear a lot. <laughs> <laughs> the fountain's over there. I don't work the platform. Train people on this stupid elevator so I can work the platform. <laughs> thank you, you too. All right, and that was the Eiffel Tower. Eiffel Tower. So I don't know if you could hear that guy that was up there with the, um, he normally works at Araya and he said it's not opening today. And he couldn't tell me why, so I don't know exactly what happened. That sucks. Uh, I only wrote it once yesterday. I should have wrote it more than once because I had the chance. <laughs> but I got one right on it and that means I'm going to be riding Diamondback a lot today. The thing I'm going to start with, um, oh yeah, that's where we were by the way, up in there. And here is the clock that we saw up there, the Topiar clock. Cool. All right, I think my first ride of the day is going to be Backlot Sun Coaster. I did not do that yesterday, so I'm gonna do that and then probably go do Diamondback. So that's Backlot Stunt Coaster. This is the, that's the small launch coaster, the one that launches you off and then it spins you up and then you go through like a Backlot um, stunt and like on a movie set. Backlot Stunt Coaster. Backlot Stunt Coaster. I'm about to go ride it. Alright, let's go do Backlot Stunt Coaster. No one's in that one? No one's in that one. I think someone got sick in that one. There's also a flame up there about halfway through on the stunt back lot movie set. Oh yeah, we just did back lot coaster. Back lot coaster, thank you. So fun. A fun uh, mini uh, launch coaster. Very fun. Well, since Orion is down, I guess that means I'm gonna be riding my favorite ride in the park, Diamondback, more times today then, huh? <laughs> No, I still love you, Orion. Next time I'll uh, ride you more. I should have rode you more last time. All right. This is the menu at Tom and Chi, by the way. I don't really think I really showed you yesterday, but melt sweet cheats actually looks like good greasy food it makes me kind of hungry i'm no i'm a raw vegan right now um all right planet snoopy heading back over to diamondback all right i've gotten over the fact that uh, ryan is down for a minute for like five minutes i was mad and upset but what can you do it's gonna be down for the rest of the day so move on i'm just pretending it's not there this means I'm gonna have to come back later, later in the year, of course. I was planning to anyway, so I'll power ride it next time. It is a gorgeous day. All right, it is time for Diamondback. Once again, there's the seat. Yeah. 
Diamondback is the best ride in the park. I, I agree with that. And we're in the back row. We're going to do the back. My favorite spot. Hey, and we just did Diamondback. Diamondback. That was amazing. Back row, of course. I'm going to go right on again. I like the fangs. You can see the fangs in this shot. The fangs in the tower. And the Diamondback shop does have some cool little mini, mini, what are these called? <laughs> Models is what I'm trying to say. So we got, what is that? That is King Cobra. That must be something from years past. Same with Vortex. I think those are older coasters. And we got a riot, of course. That is, what is that? The Beast. I don't know if you can see that with the reflection there. I mean, you definitely can. There's the Beast. There's, I think that's Diamondback. And Banshee. Cool. All right, we're gonna go do Diamondback again. Diamondback. Thank you. Yeah, of course we got the Fast Lane Plus, which gets me. It was a walk on last time, and I'm gonna be walking on again. Again, it's, I tell you guys, it's worth it. You can get it because look at the line there, and I'm literally walking on. I'm gonna save myself half hour there each time, so I'm riding it twice when people there are riding it. Um, waiting at least a half hour, if not 45 minutes, probably. I'm riding it twice in the time they're riding it less than once. All right, I'm gonna head over to Planet Snoopy. There goes the log flume ride. And I'm gonna see what this uh, kids coaster is all about and if I can ride it. <laughs> Cause I kind of want to. It looks neat. It's a pretty cool looking kids coaster. So I'm going to give it a, see if they let adults on it. <laughs> the line's not too long today, so I don't feel as bad like taking a kid's spot. That's a high pitched scream. Awesome. It's awesome. like a suspended coaster. Looks like I can ride it, so we're gonna do it. Well, it's a pretty le legit coaster for being a kid's coaster. It's pretty neat. Cool. And we just did the kids coaster. It was awesome. I forgot to get what the name of that one was actually. It's pretty sweet. It's a little jolty actually. Very fun. Alright. I like the colors on it actually too. It's very beautiful. And this is a Vacoma. It's a fun ride. Um, I did see a sign that is made by Vacoma, 
I can't remember the name of this though. I'll tell you in a minute when I see the sign. Now see, some things happen for a reason. I probably would not have ridden that if Orion wasn't down today. So at least I got another coaster credit and got to experience a, a new ride that I wouldn't have done otherwise. So I guess it happens for a reason, right? And here's some of the other rides they have over here at uh, Planet Snoopy. Got like a drop tower for kiddos. Okay, that's the name of what this roller coaster is called, the Flying Aerial. Flying Ace Aerial Chase is the name of this coaster. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, I'm gonna go to Mystic Timbers. We're over in that area. I kind of want to do the log flume, but I don't want to get wet yet. <laughs> Maybe later. I saw a couple people do it and they were soaking wet. So, no thank you. Oh, here goes Flying Aerial Chase, or whatever I just said. Thanks, Planet Snoopy. That was fun. Glad I went there. Now it is time for Mystic Timbers. Mystic Timbers. Trying to see how wet they're getting. <laughs> oh, look at Snoopy relaxing. Oh, that's where they get you wet. <laughs> it sprays you too, apparently. That's funny. It is Mystic Timbers time at the Miami River Lumber Company. And there's an awesome truck at the entrance of the queue. Miami River Lumber Company. Part of the ambiance. Thank you. And that is just the beginning. Very fun ride. Uh, again, I can't film much of it for you today because it's way back in the woods. Those are my favorite coasters are the ones that go in the woods. Um, obviously they're not the best for you guys because I can't film them for you because you can't get close to them. And across from Mystic Timbers is the Miami River Brew House. It's a sports bar and restaurant. Let's see what's on the menu here. Of course you can pause to read this. Pause to read. Yeah, that's a family a sit down style restaurant on one side. And on the other side, there is a bar. Or actually, I guess you order there and then they deliver the food out to you, maybe? I did send her a message. The little zoo was getting red pandas. Oh, fun. There's the bar here. Drinks on tap, and then if you go out this door, brings you to a great area to watch uh, Diamondback come down the fountain part. There's Diamondback right there. Then you can watch it do the fountain, which we'll do in a second. Pretty fun, pretty fun. All right, I'm gonna go do the beast now, the beast. So I've ridden Diamondback six times since I've been here yesterday and today. Orion only once, unfortunately, yesterday. I almost went on it a couple more times after I rode it but I didn't. I was like, oh, I'll just ride it later. And shouldn't have done that. 
Oh well. Oh, these are so pretty. Look at this. Uh, this flower is on top of this little, um, I don't know what you call this. Trellis, like a long trellis. It's beautiful. I don't know what kind of flowers those are. The beast, the beast. Whoa, so there's the beast, and there's the line for the beast. <laughs> Thank God I have fast pass. Is that it's crazy? I'm sure it has to do something with Orion being down because there's one less coaster for people to ride. But oh my god, I'm so glad I have fast, fast pass. <laughs> uh, I guess they haven't really opened the whole queue yet, they really need to. Open that up, huh? Here's a view of how slow the beast goes up to start. It cracks me up. Like, I cannot believe they have not sped that up. That's literally, and then it does go a little faster there, but for the first, like, 15 seconds, it's so slow, like a child. Last chance to escape the wrath of the beast. We just did the beast, the beast. We just did the beast, the beast. It was amazing. So good. That's a long, long train. We just did the beast. Um, it's not as intense as it was last year to me. Last year was like crazy intense. This year it was not as, as crazy for me. Here's some of the theming, by the way. Wind seeker now. I need something relaxing in the air. So we're gonna do the seeker of wind. Wind seeker. Over near the beast, there is an arcade where you can cool down. Cool off in the arcade. Ooh. Oh, it does feel good in here actually. Fun stuff. Fun games of all kinds. Stinky feet. That's hilarious. Stinky feet. Oh. That brings you right out to get jumpy squishy to the game. Back to Diamondback. Yeah, it's right, right near Diamondback as well. The shake, rattle, and roll coaster, or not coaster ride. All right, I just did shake, rattle, and roll. That was fun. Right across from the Duke Box Diner and the autos. Auto, auto. Poor Orion is down today, but I'm gonna go do. A Windseeker! Windseeker! And it's Windseeker 
classic car ride back to the Windseeker. Check mark, we did Windseeker. Way up there. Swing. Pains me to go over here without Orion being open, but here I am. Wooden coaster, wooden roller coaster. Yeah, so there's the red racer on this side, and the blue racer. The blue racer. There goes the blue one. There goes the red one. There comes the blue racer. Did that yesterday? And here comes the red racer. All right, we just did the red racer, the red side. The red Red racer, red racer. The red racer. Red racer here. And the blue racer over here. Here she goes. <laughs> Remember how after I rode Diamondback yesterday, I said it was my favorite ride over Orion because Orion and Diamondback were tied after last year. I feel like Orion got mad at me and shut down today because I said Diamondback's my favorite now. So I cursed, I cursed myself by saying Diamondback's better. <laughs> right, so here's the bar at Adventure Forks. And over here is the pirate ship. I'm about to go ride Delirium and Banshee. I actually forgot about Delirium. <laughs> that made me excited. Time for delirium. Delirium. <laughs> and time for Banshee. It's Banshee time. These were here during Fright Fest or Halloween haunts, but I thought they were part of I thought they were part of the Halloween festival, but I guess they're here all year long. Bansy in the front, that was so good. Oh, awesome. Awesome, awesome. Very fun. I'm actually gonna do Banshee again. That was very fun. I loved it. it was like Good, so good. I just did fancy again. Amazing. Love that ride. 
the Extreme Sky Flyer is the ride where you get strapped in and you fly basically from the, that point there. And you just free fall like back and forth. And they basically take you up and uh, once you're strapped in, they take you up and put you down and then you go all the way up there and you fly like an eagle. And there is an extra charge for that. It is $20 per person. $20. specs for you. Kind of does that. Just a better look at the extreme sky flyer or whatever that's called. <laughs> that's how they hook you in. Do one, two, or three people. I did it years ago with my one of my best friends, Lacey, at Cedar Point in like 2004 or something. I am due for another one. Ride of that someday. Like they're working on the drop tower. I did see it, it was about halfway up earlier, so maybe it is opening this year. But it's not open now. Oh, I really want to do this water ride right now because I'm so hot. But I just saw some people get off and they were completely soaking wet, and the park is still open for another two hours, and I don't want to be soaking wet for two hours. <laughs> Here it comes. Got the mist. <laughs> Dippin' dots and today. Hot, 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 hot. I just put another layer of sun lotion on, so if I'm white again, I do apologize. Uh, all right, I am going to ride Diamondback two more times, but I do have a four hour drive to Cedar Point where I'm gonna go tomorrow. Let's see what's going on in Fest House. See some sort, some sort of concert going on in here. Oh, they just finished. No, they didn't. Yay! <laughs> the end of it we caught the end the finale so there is you can get food obviously in here as well oh here's the menu over here looks like you I don't know let's go through and see so there's a Panda Express on that side and then over here there's like a food line and you come through come through the line and choose what you want we got Beverages, mac and cheese, baskets, platters, pizza. They do have some salad. Yeah. It's kind of what the selections they've got here. Kind of a pick your pick your food and to go type of situation. And you can watch the show while you eat. And get away from the hot sun. It's nice and cool in here too. That's what happens at Fast House or whatever this is called. Fast. Fest House? Fest House, Fest House is what it's called. Oh, that's the clock. That means it's, the clock's gonna go. Yay. Yeah, I'm glad I caught it on camera. I didn't even realize it was, what's that mean, it's five o'clock? Fountain just looks so beautiful. That gorgeous. Snoopy on the way to Diamondback, over there. 
Should do one of these sometime. It's kind of fun. Although today it looks like it'd be really hot inside one of those. It's not. It is very hot today. All right, so as I just said, I was about to do uh, Diamondback is my last ride of the day, but it's down. All right, guys, Diamondback reopened. Diamondback reopened, and I just rode it in the back row. There she is coming back. We're good and clear. All right, so yeah, I was super bummed um, when Diamondback was down because Orion's been down the entire day, and then when this went down, I was like, oh my gosh, I can't have both rides down. That's too much. The two tall ass posters. So I went and rode Mystic Timbers, and by the time I was done with that, Diamondback, but Diamondback was back up. So I'm happy now. Whew. I'm actually gonna go ride it again. Go ride her again. She's up and running in all her glory. All right, last ride of the day, Diamondback. Last ride of the night for me is gonna be my favorite ride, which is Diamondback. Yeah. All right, we'll see you after. All right, so that was my eighth time riding Diamondback. Eighth time. I might go do this little <laughs> kids log ride because it looks um, like I won't get totally drenched, but it looks relaxing with water because I am done with um, the big rides right now. I'm going to go see if, this, if I can do this little um, log flume to relax and then leave. So I'm going to make the log flu my last one. <laughs> I think if I go in the back, it might not be as wet. We shall see. I don't mind if I get wet. I just don't like my shoes to get wet because then they're not going to dry for tomorrow. All right, we just did the water ride, the log flu. That's great. It felt good to get refreshed. It's actually, it's not very high as you saw, but it's very long. Um, the, the river went on forever. It was great. All right, Kings Island and Diamondback. That concludes my trip here to Kings Island this time. It was kind of impromptu. I didn't realize it was only an hour and a half from Indianapolis where I was for VCon until like three days ago, so. I was like, oh, I better whip over to King's Island since I'm right here. Get subscribed if you haven't already. Come on, people, get subscribed so we can have more fun together and we can hit more amusement parks. I'm heading to Cedar Point tomorrow for the next three or four days. And then after that, I might go to, uh, oh, what's that one in Pittsburgh called? Oh my gosh, um, Kennywood. I might go to Kennywood. I've only been there once, like 15 years ago. So it is time. Once again, as Snoopy says, have a great day. I lied. There's a concert going on by the fountain. throughout the day there. Now that's a perfect ending to the trip. <laughs> I think they are training the caricaturists here, which is really, really cool. I think they're training the caricaturists because it's the beginning of the season. That's pretty cool. 
the, I just saw the supervisor like timing them as they were drawing. That's pretty cool. Neat. All right, and then over here we got the sweet spots. Candy apples, fudge, and gourmet stuff like that. Sweet spot. Oh yeah, they got all kinds of treats in here. Nice. Yummy, yummy. Six inch cakes. That looks good. S'mores. Ooh, they have those candy apples. Yes. That's beautiful. Island books here. Island book. Look at all this fun. Yes. Ooh, that looks good. Got cotton candy as well. And plenty of bulk, bulk foods too. They weren't kidding. That's a sweet spot. Oh my gosh. Look at these lovely giant lollipops. They're huge. It's like my hand right there. Big mega dum dum. Hi Goose. Hi buddy. How are ya? Chilling by the fountain with your buddies. Having fun. There is a Build a Bear workshop as well near the entrance or exit, whatever you call, want to call it, where you can build your bear and dress them up. Build a bear and dress them up in anything you want. Pretty cool. Pick your character and give them an outfit. Pick your outfit. Get your stuffing. Oh, feels good in here. More outfits. Scan your furry friend's tag. And then you end up with something like those. Build a bear workshop. Pretty cool. Nice, nice. All right, I don't think I need to buy anything else, people. I've spent enough money on uh, magnets. I think I bought eight in total. But of course, I'm gonna go in here and look again. I was almost thinking about getting this shirt. I know it's kind of not totally me, but I love the Mystic Timbers. I really like that ride. Should I get it? I do not need it, but I like the colors of that tie-dye. I'm not gonna get it. All right, I'm leaving the store. I don't need anything. Got enough. Got enough stuff. <laughs> Alright, I thought about it, but I have enough shirts. I don't need anything. I need to leave and head to Cedar Point. Actually, I need to go to Planet Fitness right now to shower because I am so sweaty, so hot. I know I'm sunburned. I can feel it, even though I put sun lotion on twice. But I am ready to go get a shower. Thank you, Kings Island. Until next time. Bye. Alrighty, friends. Last night I drove from Cincinnati to Sandusky where uh, Cincinnati is Kings Island and, left, and then Sandusky is Cedar Point. So I am here now, I'm about to go freshen up at Planet Fitness. I'm not taking a full shower. I'll take a full shower after I go to Cedar Point. But sometimes I just freshen up. Um, usually I do it at a gas station, but this just happened to be right next to the Cracker Barrel I slept to, which was right over there. So I'm just gonna jump, jump in here real quick and freshen up. Alrighty friends, we're freshened up and it's time to hit Cedar Point. I'm only about two miles away, so I'm gonna head over there. Yes, yeah, so I freshened up there. I slept at the Cracker Barrel. Towards Sandusky Mall Boulevard. Slept at a Cracker Barrel just uh, in the same plaza. I really love sleeping at Cracker Barrels because I 100% know I'm allowed to and no one's gonna knock on my door. <laughs> head east my... toward Hall Road. It's my favorite place to sleep so far, um, a Cracker Barrel. And here's the Cracker Barrel I slept at in the Sandusky Mall parking lot. See it right over there behind the sign? Right next to that Best Buy. I basically slept between the Cracker Barrel and the Best Buy, right in that parking lot there. <laughs> slept great. No one bugged me. Um, and I'm a little further than Cedar Point than I thought. I'm like four miles. Four miles from Cedar Point instead of two. <laughs> In a quarter mile, use any lane to take the exit towards Cedar Point. Ah, yay! Cedar Point, use both lanes. Love when I see that sign. Turn left onto Cedar Point Drive. Yay! There's the sign. One of the signs. 
And this is basically the peninsula of Cedar Point, starting now where I'm at. Um, and yeah, it's a peninsula on Lake Erie in uh, Sandusky, Ohio is where I'm at, by the way. And if you're wondering what this is, this is my blackout curtain when I'm sleeping. It goes up here <laughs> so no one can see back there. And the van's a mess a little bit back there. But I'm so excited uh, to ride the rides. Oh, <laughs> oh,